This is the 12th video in the multi-part series on why and how to cool down your twin cam and Milwaukee 8 engines. Today we're going to be talking about tuners. Tuners are a big subject. We're going to do an entire video going over all the aspects of tuners, at least the popular tuners. But today we're just going to talk about tuners in regards to how they affect getting your engine to run cooler. There's two main things that tuners do. One is they change the AFR, the air fuel ratio, how much fuel is mixed with the air. And the other thing they do is they change the timing. Those two things have an effect on how hot or cool your engine runs. Before we get into a little bit of details, we're going to talk about some of the differences between a twin cam and a Milwaukee 8. Number one, twin cams, all twin cams come from the factory too lean not enough fuel mixed with the air and that makes them run too hot. M8s do not come nearly as lean. They're not horribly lean like the twin cams and you can see a report in the description below. One thing that you can see how much a tune can affect engine temperature is those of you with the power vision, if you have the ET uh, showing on your screen while you're going down the road, you'll notice that if you give it a lot of throttle, within two or three seconds, you can see a five to 10 degree drop in your engine temperature. Now you can't leave it at three quarter throttle or full throttle for very long, but you can see how dumping all of that fuel in there really can reduce the engine temperature. So again, we're gonna have an entire video just on all aspects of the of tuners but we're just going to do a quick overview right now of how different tuners affect the engine temperature and what the popular tunes are. So first of all, don't waste your time with the Harley tune, not the Harley tuner or the flashes. For the twin cam, there's the XIED family of products. These only affect the AFR and they're only good to use on a stock bike or a stage one bike. If you are if you have a stage two, three or four bike, or if you intend to do a stage two or three or four, then the XID product is not for you. But if, if you have a stock bike or just a stage one bike, then the XID is a very good option for the twin cam. We have literally thousands of customers who are running it. It gets the AFR into a good, safe place on the twin cams and people use it see a five to ten degree drop in engine temperature using the XID products. There are two other popular choices that work for both twin cam and Milwaukee 8 engines. Both of them when used will get you a 10 to 15 degree drop over the stock tune that comes on your bike. So they're both a really good option. They approach the tuning in two different, very different ways. One, the Power Vision is a standalone product that works in conjunction with your personal computer. And it is a device, there's one right here, it is a device that you can leave on the bike or take off of the bike once you've flashed your new tune to it. It has auto-tune features and you can use it for stock, stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. You can use it in conjunction with dyno tuning. It, it is a full featured uh, tuner. And also you can use it as a monitor and that's what I like about it. The FP3, which will give you a good tune, again, just like the Power Vision, get you a 10 to 15 degree drop in your engine temperature, it works in conjunction with your smartphone. And there is a device that stays under the seat on your bike 100% of the time. And instead of having something like this, you can monitor everything on your smartphone. And a lot of people like it because of that. The downside of an FP3 is it's not really good for stage two, three, or four. It doesn't have near the flexibility it also is not good for dyno tuners. You can't really use it uh, when putting your bike on a dyno. But most people don't need those uh, features. So the FP3, and especially because it works in conjunction with the smartphone, is a good option. 
So you have the XID products for twin cams, you have the Power Vision and the FP3 for twin cams and Milwaukee 8s, 10 to 15 degree drop in engine temperature over a stock tune. Don't use the Harley or Screaming Eagle tuners because they are constricted by the EPA mandates and you're not going to get a good tune out of them. You're not going to get a good drop in temperature out of them. So bottom line is getting a tuner is not only going to help your engine run cooler, it's going to help it have more power, it's going to help it last longer, and you're going to enjoy your bike better. If you liked the video, found it useful, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you know every time we come out with a new video. And share this video with your friends. They'll probably find it useful or interesting. And you all ride safe out there.